Hi everyone, welcome to Lead Code Programming. In this video, I would like to discuss the problem count the number of consistent strings. This is in fact a problem from the yesterday's weekly uh, bi-weekly challenge, and as you can see, it is an easy an, an easy one. So let's check out the description. You are given a string a node consisting of uh, distinct characters and an array of strings words. A string is consistent if all the characters in the string appear in the string a node. So basically, you will be given a, a string allowed, so that will have uh, lowercase alphabets, and you will be given an array of words, and from words you have to pick every word and check if the word consists only of the characters from the uh, string allowed, and we need to find uh, such consistent strings and return the uh, count. So for example, we have allowed as a b. That means when you form the words, you 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 should only use uh, characters a and b. So the words we have here are uh, ad. So ad has a character d which is not present in allowed characters. So this we are not supposed to count. Then bd also is uh, not allowed. And a ab this has all the characters in the pool of allowed characters ab. So this is uh, valid. And this is also valid. And this is not valid. So the answer will be two. Same way we have abc allowed characters. So in the words. A B C A B A C B C A B C. So all are allowed because they are using only characters A B and C. So answer is seven. Similarly, uh, the third case we have output as four uh, among all these words because the allowed characters are C A D. So wherever uh, we have B B A, these are all not not uh, allowed. And when it comes to constraints, the words the array of words the length can go from ten power four. So you can have ten power four uh, different words. And the length of the allowed string will be obviously it will be 26 because it can have only a to z lowercase alphabets. And the length of the words can be uh, 1 to 10. So and the characters in the allowed are distinct. And so uh, given the constraints, uh, this is not uh, very big because we have only 26 and the number of words are 20, 10 power 4. So we should be able to do it in a normal uh, brute force or straightforward way. So let's take an example and check in detail. So how we can do it? So we can get some ideas. So the allowed string is this one. The words are as given here. So what we need to do is take every string from the words and uh, consider every character from the string and check if the character is a part of this string. So that way you check for every string, you check if every character is part of the allowed string. So this way what we can do is, uh, so we iterate through all the words, then for every word we uh, compare each character with the uh, string of uh, the pool of characters present here. You know. So this will be uh, like in the order of uh, it will be in the order of let's say you have uh, n words in the words array so it will be o of n star for every word let's say the length of the word is uh, l so which is uh, 1 to 10 here in the constraints then for every uh, word we are trying to check uh, with the allowed string so allowed string can have a maximum of 26 characters so the worst case complexity here will be n star l star 26 so uh, can we optimize a little bit here so if you see every word we are taking and then trying to compare every character whether it is present in allowed string or not instead of that what we can do is initially we can just parse the string allowed and see what are the uh, possible characters that we can use in our words so we can take an array of uh, like 26 so we will a boolean array so we will try to uh, go through the allowed characters and then mark the characters which are present so if there is a character a we will set a flag a equal to true if the character b is there b equal to true so that way when we are trying to uh, check every word we just have to check the so for every character we just have to check the array so we don't have to parse the string written again and again for every word so this way we are uh, we can uh, get rid of this uh, 26 so ideally it should be uh, the best uh, the worst case complexity will be o of n star l so this optimization can be done so having uh, got the idea and approach let's go ahead and write some code let's see how it works so what we are going to do is uh, first 
let's see the count is what we are going to return so let's look at the java solution first for count is what we are going to return so let's say count equal to words dot size so if every word in the word string is uh, is consistent we are going to return finally the total size so what we are going to do is for every word if any word is not uh, consistent we are going to reduce the account so we are doing reverse way so now first uh, we need to take uh, boolean array so the size will be 26 because we are going to have only uh, 26 characters two char array two char array will give uh, will iterate through all the characters then we set the flag so alpha of the index that we get here is uh, c it's character c will be uh, it will be ascii value of c so if you uh, if you have character a it will be something like uh, 97 like ascii value so to get the index to 0 we need to map the index to 0 right so c minus a will give you 0 the corresponding index of the characters so it will be we set the flag so now we have got all the characters that are allowed so we can directly access the array and find if there is any character or not now we need to iterate through all the strings so for every word now we need to check every character that to care array and if the character is present in our array or if the character is not present in our array that means that word is not consistent so we just check c minus a if it is false that means the current character is not present so we just decrement the count that means the current word will be exempted from that consistent list excluded from the consistent then break because we don't have to check further because if one character is missing then we can consider the word as not consistent and this way we uh, iterate through all the words then for every word we check all the characters and decrement the count so finally return the count so let's execute and see yeah it should be length it's not size size is for c plus plus so let's use length yeah it works fine let's submit and check if it works for all the test cases yeah solution has been accepted and a 5 milliseconds time of 5 milliseconds and it is faster than 100 percent of all submissions let's look at c++ code it should be uh, it should be pretty identical except that few uh, methods yeah so here again we take words dot size initially we initialize the count then we have an array of uh, 26 we initialize to fal false then this will initialize all the 26 uh, members to false then we check what are the allowed characters so we set the flag to true then for every word uh, for every string from words then we check every character if, if any character is missing just decrease the count and break then finally return so let's submit and check yeah so all the test cases have been passed so as discussed before the time complexity will be uh, o of n star if there are n uh, words o of n star and if the length of the word is l so it will be o of n star l so that's it thanks for watching